This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Recording in progress. <laughs> okay, good afternoon everyone. Shem Aleichem, Bruchem Abam. This will be our last uh, session uh, this week and on Parak Bays because we hope to complete Parak Bays today. So the Chavetz Chaim yesterday provided two reasons for the length of the Golas. Number one, just like when, Yus- when Avram Avinu was promised by the Bris Ben Habasarim that the fourth generation would return, but not before, Kiloi Shilem Avoin Ha'amari Adhena, so too, in the end of days, the Avera, the nation of the world, is not complete until it's complete. And since there's a, this is last chance, in other words, they're, they're never coming back to the land that Hashem removes them from, so their sin really has to be complete. And secondly, all the tikkunim that need to be accomplished uh, need to uh, be accomplished before the gula comes. But says the Chavetz Chaim, chalila v'chalila lanu ho'ichar. Heaven forbid to slacken off and to give up hope and to throw in the towel. V'frat shahanavi higid lanu meiroi shal ho'ichar. Especially, the Navi told us from the beginning about the delay. The Navi in Chavakuk says, Ki afim yismama chakela. Even if, de- if it delayed, wait for it. Ki vay yavay. It will surely come, v'goymer. V'chalila la yipo mi divrei Hashem davar. And heaven forbid, nothing will be missing. Nothing will fall from the words of Hashem. Whatever Hashem said, nothing will fall short. Like we say in the brachas that were enacted after the Haftarah, And one word from your words back will not be returned empty-handed. Meaning not one thing Hashem promised will ever be turned, around, turned back empty-handed. Every detail will come true. Especially when it comes to this great principle of the coming of Mashiach. Shekal Hanaviyah Malayim All the prophets are full of this. V'chol Rabbi Seinu Balei HaShas Malayim And all of our rabbis, the masters of Shas, are full of this. V'hu Iker V'yisoyed Amunas Yisrael. And it is the main foundational principle of the Jewish people. V'anu Oymrim Zeb Bracha Rishayna. We mention it in the very first bracha of Shemana Esrei. In the first bracha of Shemana Esrei, we say, Umevi Gayel of Nevenehem, and he brings redemption to their children's children, to the children of the Avais. Uvefrad Kehayim, and especially today, Lefimatz of Yisrael, according to the situation of the Jewish people, Shihigia Adla Afar, that has reached the dust, Babinusenu Harabim, Heim Begufam, whether physically, Heim Benavsham, Spiritually, like the Pasuk says, Our souls are bowed down to the ground. We've physically reached a boiling point. We've spiritually reached the end point. The soul of the Jewish people. As it is known, the situation of the young generation, of this our generation, Dovka la Aretz Bitnenu. Our stomachs cling to the earth. Our stomach is stuck to the ground. So Shacha la Afar Nafshenu refers to the soul of the Jewish people. Dovka la Aretz Bitnenu, Hainu Gufam shall you saw, the body of the Jewish people. Bevade Olenu Lamaid Hachin. Certainly, we need to stand prepared. Ulachakus li Yeshua and await the Yeshua. That means at all times, we need to be prepared for the Mashiach to come. Which means, throughout the day, a person should say, Shalom, I'm doing tshuva now, and I'm preparing myself, awaiting the Yeshua. The Choshayna HaKosvana, like the Lashon of the above-mentioned Pasuk, Chak Eloi, wait for him. What does it mean, wait for him? Stand on the corner and do nothing all day? Wait for him means, you need to be prepared. Wait for him means, you, you need to be ready. You need to stand ready. Like you're standing and waiting for someone to come. So that's the type of attitude and preparation and feel that we should have. We're waiting for Mashiach like we're waiting for someone to come.
Umi be'ez kazois yodea. And who at such a time knows? Because maybe, Ulai kfar oimed acher kaslini, he's right outside the wall. Maybe he's right there. He's just a short distance away. Fortunate is someone who does not give up hope from awaiting the redemption. And he takes it to heart regarding himself, Uvanov and his children. To increase his learning, to increase his mitzvahs. Not to achieve, not to be gripping with embarrassment at that time. Meaning to always be in a state where a person is full of Torah and mitzvahs. Kirak So you say, what do you mean? Who's going to know when Mashiach comes how much Torah I learned? How many mitzvahs I did? Will anybody know? Kirak, the answer is everyone will know. It's only in our existence now that it's not clear. Kirak It's only in this world which is like the night, hakal mechusa, everything is covered. V'lay nikar tzadik lefnei rasha, and it's hard to distinguish the righteous from the wicked. Avol oz yiskala hakal, but then everything will be revealed. V'chidi isa b'targum koyhelas ala pasuk, like we find in the targum on the pasuk, soif davar hakal nishma. In the end of the matter, everything will be heard. Which means, the Targum targum translates it, kol oivdei b'nei alma avidin di isparsaman. All the actions of man are destined to be publicized. The targum is kol masei b'nei ha'olam. All the actions of man asidim lehisparsem are destined to be uh, publicized. V'chol echad yiskabed, and everyone will be honored l'fi ha-toyra v'hamitzvah sheyesh b'yadai in accordance with the Torah that they learned. With the mitzvahs that they did. Like the Pasuk says, On that time, And you will come and you will see. And this was explained in le- at length earlier in Parak Aleph that when Mashiach comes, will be a time where it will be apparent. You, you'll be able to look at people's faces and you'll be able to tell, well, this person learned. One Mesechta. That person knew two Mesechtas. This person was Oisek in a few mitzvahs. That person was Oisek in more mitzvahs. So always prepare yourself. In Tshuva, in Limo Torah, in Masim Toivim. Let not a day go by where a person doesn't say, Rebani Shalaylam, I'm learning today. I'm doing mitzvahs today. I'm doing Tshuva today. I am preparing myself because I know it, it could come... At any moment, we have to be oimeid muchan, standing ready for the imminent arrival of Mashiach Tzidkenu. So, those are the first two prakim, as the Sashem. Uh, hopefully next week we could begin the third parak. Thank you everybody for joining. Bracha v'hatzlacha. Kol tov. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.